Oh God. What have I done? No, 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 no. Rick. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out of the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? The details are hazy. I... I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God! I killed them! I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God... What have I done? Hmm. This must be Brad's car. It's not looking good. but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. such a lightweight. Yeah, cap. <laughs> I mean cap. What? Oh. Uh... Gas station. Yeah! The SOC. Okay. Great.
so hard. The stupid window was coming out of my paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So, Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. Uh, I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God. I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. oh, that whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Thank you. Mental hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. 
Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. Okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, kid. You're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. We just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. friend is all she has left. Sorry. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris. Uh, Iris Campbell. Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Hold tight, kid. I got this. Just need to get my eyes on her computer screen. Two sixteen. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. All right, kid. Coast is clear.
Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Let's get moving. Another camera. Get on it. You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Nope. Uh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. <gasps> Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess. Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. Keep going. Get to Iris' room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! 